I didn't think it'd be this hard To go and try to let you down At first for sure we saw forever and the distance But the path of least resistance is the one where I don't see you anymore and yes i'm sure about my choices hey guys welcome back to my channel i am so grateful that you are here as per always i hope you are having a beautiful day i'm super excited to share this week of eats with you as per always because i love to share the realistic side of what i eat every single week it is always different it's always changing some weeks i have a little obsession with this other weeks i have a little obsession with that and I like to change it up. It's fun, it's exciting. Food is supposed to be nourishing and for enjoyment as well. So, you know, you just have fun with it. Anyways, I do wanna say that after filming this What I Eat In A Week video, I got a little sick, um, had really bad headache for a, like two, two days or so, was congested, throat was sore, all the fun stuff. However, I feel so much better right now and I am just so happy and grateful that my body was working for me to heal me. This is me reminding you that your body is constantly working for you, okay? It's making your heart beat, it's breathing, it's digesting your food, it's doing all of these beautiful things every second of every single day. It is constantly working for you and it deserves your love and respect. So, without further ado, let's get on to the food, okay? We're starting off day one with a big old fruit bowl, a classic from Julia, obviously, but I just love fruit, okay? Fruit is nature's candy. If you don't eat like one piece of fruit every single day, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but come on, come on, it's nature's candy. Okay, anyways, we got an apple, a banana, some mango, some blueberry, and some coconut yogurt in there as well, and then we're gonna top it off with a big old scoop of peanut butter, just for some extra fats and extra goodness, obviously. And that was breakfast. For lunch, I was feeling like one of those classic sausage on a buns with fried onion, but I didn't have like a hot dog bun. So we're making a compromise right now and we're just gonna put it on a slice of bread, okay? But we gotta have a salad because you know, I love my greens. So just a super simple salad. We got some greens, some lettuce, some cucumber, some red onions, some pea sprouts as well. And we're topping off our toast with some hummus, some sriracha, our fried onion and sauces mixture. And obviously we have to top it off with some sauerkraut because it's just a classic, you know, sausage, onion, sauerkraut. Mm. I used to hate that when I was a kid. Like anybody that ate that when I was little, I was like, what are you doing? Like that's literally disgusting. And now I'm an adult and my taste buds have adapted. Anyways, added some mufaletta to our salad, you know, just to add some more color and then topped it all on off with a balsamic vinaigrette dressing, which I will write down in the description box below for you guys because it is so damn good and you gotta try it. You gotta try it. And we were feeling a little snacky, you know? If you know, you know. Obviously all of you know because you're human beings and we like to snack. Anyways, added a banana, some ice, some milk, plant-based milk obviously. I don't remember what I had in the house at this point in time when I was making this smoothie, but you know, one of the plant-based milks. And then added some protein powder, some turmeric, some cinnamon, some black pepper, and then blended it all on up. Mmm, such a good snack. dinner we are cooking up a whole bunch of veggies starting off with this beautiful asparagus that we have here just topped it off with some oil added some garlic some salt some dill and then I decided because I didn't want the garlic to burn I took the garlic out you know rolled the spices around in the asparagus added the garlic back on top and uh, threw that in the oven also I have a tip for you guys for asparagus all you have to do is snap the ends off of it you know the fibrous part at the end of the asparagus yeah it just snaps right off and that way you get all of it you know, when you cut it, you don't know if you actually get all of the fibrous part, so then you're sitting there and you're chewing your asparagus, and then you just got all this fiber in your mouth, and it's not a good time, it's not pretty. 
Anyways, we're moving on now. We got a whole bunch of sweet potato all chopped up. We're adding some spices, some salt, some chili flakes, some mustard powder, and we're stirring that all on up. Obviously, I added some oil to that as well, threw that in the oven, and we're making a little sauce to go on top of our bowl with some hummus, some lemon juice, some nutritional yeast because, mmm, yummy. And I never really have a recipe for these things. I just kind of go for it, taste as I go, add as I go, you know, until we get the right consistency, we get the right flavor that we're looking for. But that's just me. I like to play. I like to play in the kitchen, have some fun, you know? So I added some spinach, some quinoa, and my sweet potato to my bowl. And then I threw that asparagus onto a plate, topped my bowl off with my delicious cheesy sauce. And of course, I had to add some cheesy sauce to the asparagus as well because it's kind of like a hollandaise cheesy sauce. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have ever ate asparagus with like hollandaise sauce, obviously before you were a vegan, mm, but this is like a good alternative, you know? I like them just like my coffee. That's all. So we started our day off with coffee. Okay, since I've got this mushroom coffee, I don't think I'm gonna go back to regular coffee. I hate how expensive the mushroom coffee is, but it's just so good. And like the energy, it isn't like a huge high and then a low, it's like a nice stable, you know, even energy for like several hours and I just dig it. Anyways, moving on to this beautiful fruit bowl that I'm making. We got banana, we got mango, we got avocado, blueberries, topped off with some hemp seeds and some pumpkin seeds. I just love to start my day with fruit. Like I said already, it's nature's candy. And then obviously the avocado in there for some extra fats. It's great for the hair, the skin, the nails, all the things. Eat your avocados. For lunch, we are having a big old plate because I still haven't got myself a new bowl yet. You guys sent me so many amazing recommendations of like where to look for bowls. I honestly just like have not had the time to like go through them and like look at everything that they offer on their websites and like all of the things because it's just, it's such a chore, honestly because I gotta pull up my measuring tape, gotta make sure it's the right size, make sure it's the right depth, make sure it's all of the right things. It has to meet a certain criteria because guys, I have standards for my boot bowls, okay? I have standards. But I mean, honestly, probably anything would be better than a plate at this point. So I mean, maybe my standards shouldn't be that high, but whatever. We got a whole bunch of stuff on this plate. We started off with the bed of greens with some cilantro. We got some avocado, some sauerkraut, some red pepper, some red cabbage, some rice noodles, all topped off with some seed mix, which is hemp, pumpkin, and sesame and of course we're gonna add our dressing which is a very classic thing that i make very often which is soy sauce sriracha lime maple syrup and some powdered peanut butter as well stirred that all on up and enjoyed this plate <laughs> i'm gonna get a bowl soon guys i promise Live happy for and we were feeling a little midday smoothie, so we added a banana, a bunch of frozen berries, along with some protein powder, some ashwagandha, and some water. Blended that all on up, and mm, I just love that color. It's so pretty and ugh, lovely. For dinner, we were having some rice paper rolls, so we started off by making our sauce, grated ginger, soy sauce, sriracha, lime juice, maple syrup, and some powdered peanut butter. Loki have an addiction to lime, can't help it. Mm, so good. Added some garlic powder to the sauce as well and Oh my god. This is the Guys, I just rolled all of those rolls and realized I did not press record on my phone. This is basic YouTuber knowledge. I need to press record so I can share it. Anyways, okay. Let's just move on. I stuffed them with red cabbage, cucumber, red pepper, carrot, and pea sprouts. I think that's everything but I'll show you the end result, I guess. As you guys already know, I love to change up my morning drinks. I go from coffee to matcha to chocolate milk, chocolate milk, hot chocolate, you know what I'm saying, all the time. I never have the same thing. I shouldn't say never because I do have the same thing, but like never really two days in a row. Is watching, but I still feel so Anyways, moving on to breakfast. We're gonna make a guac moment right now. So we're opening the beautiful avocado, adding it to our bowl, and then we're chopping up some red onion and some pickled jalapeno. I love pickled jalapeno. You guys already know, I like to make it spicy. If you're drunk from the last video that you watched, if you know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know. But if you're drunk from the last video, take another shot because 
I said I like to spice things up again. Anyways, we added our pickled jalapeno, our red onion, some cilantro, some lime, and some salt in with our avocado, toasted up some bread, added our guac to our toast, spread it all on out, and then topped it with our seed mix, some sauerkraut, our carrots, and some greens as well. Okay, no hate here, but for people that just mash up avocado and add the everything but the bagel seasoning to it, and like that's all they do, Come on guys, like add a little spice to it. You know, add some lime juice, add some pickled jalapeno, like spice it up, have some fun, okay? As a little snack, we had an apple and then an hour or so later before heading out to a friend's, I had some yogurt with some blueberries and one of these crushed up um, granola bar things. Enjoyed that, I only added half of it and you already know I ate the other half. I don't know what I was thinking. Why, why did I not just add the other half to the yogurt? But you know, you live and you learn. In your So for dinner, as I said, I was over at a friend's house and we got some Indian food. We went on a walk and then decided to get some freaking Indian food because Indian food is just so damn delicious. We smelled like curry the next day, like hardcore smelled like curry. And we ate all of this food. We got two curries, thing of rice, thing of like deep fried sweet potatoes, which is right here, and two orders of naan. And we literally ate it all. Absolutely no regrets. For breakfast, I started my day with a simple bowl of oats with a banana. You know, not everyone has the fixins at their house like I have my fixins. Anyways, I actually work today, so I'm kind of like rushing in the kitchen here, throwing together a lunch because you know, anywhere I go, I, not anywhere, but you know what I'm saying. I bring a whole crap ton of food because girl gets hungry very easily because all I eat is vegetables basically. So we got a whole bunch of greens in there along with some red cabbage, some red onions, some red peppers, some carrots, some pea sprouts, whole bunch of things in here. And then we're gonna top it off with our cilantro lime dressing. I think it was in a couple what I eat in a week videos, but I will write the recipe down uh, in the description box below for you guys so you can try it out because it's mm, so good. So because your girl's crazy and always thinks she has more time than she actually does, I decided to make the base of a dessert. Um, so I had the filling sitting in the freezer for quite some time. So I took it out a couple days before this and needed to use the filling. So I soaked some dates in some hot water, added some oat flour, some walnuts, and then mixed that all together until the right consistency was forming. Honestly, I did not really measure much. I was kind of going on the fly. I didn't have much time to make this because I had to go to work, but I do have the original recipe, which I will put down in the description box below for you guys. And oh, it is just, this is just so delicious and it keeps in the freezer for quite some time. I originally made that at Valentine's Day. So it sat in the freezer for months and it's still delicious. And like I said, I had to go to work. So I enjoyed the sweet potato and quinoa with the spicy cilantro dressing. And then a little bit later, I had my beautiful, colorful, oh, nourishing salad as well. And to tone down the spiciness, I just added the leftover guac. I don't hear from you like I used to anymore, anymore. Once I got home, I wasn't too hungry, so I decided just to throw together a super simple smoothie, banana, frozen berries, protein powder, and some ashwagandha, blended that all on up, and that was my evening. Tell me what you do on a Sunday. We're starting our day off with a mocha. If you don't love mochas, I don't know if we can be friends, but we can still be friends because I'm a nice person and I don't judge people because they like certain things or not. But you know, I just, I just love mochas, so I hope you love mochas too. Anyways, we just got some instant mushroom coffee in there, some cocoa powder, some maple syrup, and our milk mixture, and enjoyed. I feel like I haven't had oats in a minute, like a hot minute, have not had oats. So we were feeling oats this morning. Warmed with half a cup of oats on the stove, along with some protein powder, chopped up a mango because I still gotta have fruits with my oats, and I was feeling chocolatey because I honestly started my period and I really wanted chocolate. So I had some mini chocolate chips to my bowl along with some coconut yogurt, my mango. This is a, such a weird mix and it doesn't really make much sense, but it's all the things that I wanted in one bowl. We added some blueberries, some flax seed, and some chia seed along with some hemp seeds as well because you guys know I love hemp seeds. <laughs> Sick 
So the dessert that we made yesterday, well the base of it anyways, it's in the freezer and we're gonna melt some chocolate and then roll the frozen dessert in chocolate. And it's just so freaking delicious. I cut these ones a little bit bigger than I did the original ones that I made and I think I like them better bigger. What can I say guys, maybe size does matter. That was a horrible joke. Let's move on. <laughs> so I didn't have enough chocolate to roll the entire tray of desserts in chocolate, but I think we did like eight of them and they're so good, like cold like this. Oh my God, like it tastes like an ice cream bar. After we got home from our solo beach date, we decided to make a stir fry, but I just wanted to show you the aftermath of the hummus and veggie mixture. I ate all of the hummus and all the fixins within the hummus because guess what? You're allowed to eat until you're not hungry anymore. Please eat until you're not hungry, okay? We're just dicing up some tofu into cute little cubes, adding it to a bowl, and then we're gonna add some cornstarch to it as well. I don't normally cook with a lot of cornstarch or like add cornstarch to recipes, even when you want like a thicker sauce because it kind of like messes my stomach up a little bit, but the little bit that I use won't really do much to me. And sometimes you gotta do things for the texture. So I wanted my tofu a little crispy, so I added some cornstarch to it. Anyways, just added it to a pan with some oil until it was nice and golden brown, and then I threw some broccoli in there as well well, but now we're moving on to a sauce, which is one of my classic Julia sauces. So many of you have said that I need to do like a week of Asian food, like a week of Thai food or a week of Chinese food or like whatever the case may be, but like Asian inspired. And I love that idea and I really want to do it. However, for one, I need to pick a culture within Asia because you know, there's so many cultures within Asia. I said Asia really weird there, but let's move on. And then I gotta figure out like breakfast and lunch. Like I don't know what's typical. Anyways, we had some leftover quinoa and rice noodles. So we just warmed them up together because sometimes you gotta use what's in the house, you know? Threw our stir fry on top, topped it with some green onion and some sesame seeds and mm, enjoyed. Cactus and it starts to rain. So we started our day off with a mushroom coffee and then we had to work today as well. So we are going crazy with a big old salad bowl again because you know already know I need to bring food with me all of the time because I get really hungry and I don't really want to buy food. Anyways, we're making a very similar bowl to what we had the other day. We got some greens, some red cabbage, some red pepper, some red onions, some avocado. And then because we had some leftover veg that we were dipping in our hummus the other day, we decided to just chop up a couple more things, add them to our container, and then bring some hummus with us as well. And then I decided I needed to use some radish, so I threw a radish into my salad too. And for breakfast, we are just chopping up a big old pineapple. And I explained this in another video, but I chopped my pineapple a little bit different than what we normally see or what I normally see other people doing. So what I do is I cut all of the sides off and then I quarter it and then I like debone it like a fish, if that makes sense, like the rind. And that way I'm actually getting all of the rind out of the pineapple. Forget about all types of things. I find when people like cut it from the middle with one of those like cores, it usually takes off like way too much pineapple or it leaves half of the rind still in it. So what can I say? My way works the best and you gotta try it. And then my plan was to eat that fruit on the road. Don't tell anybody. And then just have a little coconut yogurt with some hemp seeds to hold me over until then because I'm a hungry girl.
So my bosses are so beyond amazing at the place that I work and they got everybody pizza on that day. So I had some vegan pizza. I split that pizza with a girl that I work with and she's a vegetarian and was like, hey, I'll split a vegan pizza with you. So shout out to her because, you know, I think she watches my videos now, which is amazing. Anyway, so I had half of a small pizza and then on my way home, I stopped at the grocery store, grabbed a protein bar and ate that. And then I basically already had dinner made because I still had that salad left over. And I just topped it off with some balsamic vinaigrette, some sauerkraut, and some mufaletta. I was feeling some protein yogurt, so I added some protein powder in with my yogurt, but this is a new protein powder that I haven't tried before. I really love the Berry Vega protein powder, so I decided to try the vanilla from the Vega. From the Vega, it's like people saying the, like the Facebook or the Instagram. I, th I think I'm like 45 years old, but we'll get over it. Topped our protein yogurt with some blueberries and some mango along with some hemp seeds. For lunch, we were feeling some kimbap. I hope I said that right because the last video, I embarrassed myself when I said it. And I said it as like jimbap or, or I don't even know how I said it, but it's kimbap, right? Okay, if I don't get it right at this point, I, I think I just have to admit that I'm a white girl and um, that that's, that's the reason. But I'm trying my best, I swear. <laughs> Anyways, we topped our nori and our rice with some hummus, some carrots, some red cabbage, some fried tofu, and some mango as well. I'll write the recipe for the tofu down in the description box below. I forgot to hit record while I was making the marinade for it. So very sorry about that, but I'll write the recipe down in the description box below for you guys. I rolled my kimbap all on up, dipped it in some soy sauce, and oh, this was just so damn delicious. So I am honestly so, so full. I cannot finish these. So I am just going to package them up, package them up, sure. And put them in the fridge and save them for later. Later in the evening, I went out with some friends. We had some beers, some Caesars, some Moscow mules, just a whole bunch of drinks, honestly, not gonna lie. I was feeling a little tipsy after this. We shared one of these little flatbed pizzas. Luckily, he was okay with putting his goat cheese on the side. And like I said, I was feeling a little tipsy. So when we got back, I had to have some porridge as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'm so happy that you joined me for it. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Don't forget to respect yourself. Don't forget to drink lots of water, eat your greens, have a little dance party every once in a while, and enjoy your life. You deserve it. I will see you again soon for lots more content coming your way. Mwah!